What is up everybody, it's Josh and welcome to a brand new journey and welcome to another video. Tonight we are here at Universal Orlando Resort for the opening night of HHN 33 Halloween Horror Nights 2024. I am so freaking excited, oh my god. This event snuck up on us so quick. Like I remember it seems like it was just last week where I was doing a construction update video. But now we're here, opening night. We have 10 houses to go through, five scare zones. We have a bunch of food to try. We are here for the next three days. So we're here all opening weekend. And I'm just excited. Like I'm back to being able to hang out with my friends. This is like a family reunion. You just see it all. You see it all, you get to meet everybody, you get to talk to everybody, and you get to get the shit scared out of you. But with all that talking, let's just, uh, let's do it. Let's go ahead inside under these archways. Let's go to our stay and scream area and let's have one hell of a night. If you guys are ready to go on this fun-filled, spooky-filled, Halloween Horror Nights-filled journey, let's go. So we have made it to our Stay and Scream location and it is the new location for this year. We are literally like on the deck of kind of the Lombards area. It is starting to rain. What is opening night of HHN without a little bit of rain? But I do like this area better because not only do we get kind of, you know, a cool view, you know, you got Springfield over here, got Men in Black, got Central Park, but we have a freaking bar to ourselves pretty much. I mean, this was the Peacock Bar last year, but this year it's just like the Fanta Bar, but we have it kind of open to us while we do stay and scream. Quite nice in my opinion. Also, we're not just standing out in the open. We do have some covered areas. We do have some seating, but I kind of like this area. I do. I hope they bring it back or at least add this to their new route. But our first two houses will be Goblin's Feast and Eternal Bloodline. So those will be in the new tents and those are like down yonder. So we're just gonna get all that done and over with. Cause I don't wanna do all that walking later on. Gotta save it for other stuff. But yeah, let's do it. Our first house of the night to start off the official opening night of Halloween Horror Nights will be Goblin's Feast. Let's do this. Goblin's Feast, first house of the season. That was a good start. It got me a few times and I think it's the way the house is set up. It gets dark, like pretty dark in some of the spots, but also as you can tell, it is daylight. So adjusting to the light, very weird. That's a solid house. That was definitely a good way to start off the season. Our next house will be house number two, and that will be Universal Monsters Eternal Bloodlines. This was one that I said I wasn't super excited for, but I hope that it changes my mind with seeing it. The facade again is just like that vinyl wrap, so nothing crazy for that. Let's see how the house looks. Alrighty, Universal Monsters once again disappointed me. I, I unfortunately knew it was gonna happen. Literally went through the house. It was pretty much empty. We missed a lot of scares. The scares I did get, they were good. But I mean, the house was basically almost empty. We walked through a few of the scenes in the house, actually more than a few. And I was actually looking around waiting for the scare to happen and nothing happened. No triggers, no nothing. So I really, really hope I can get another run through because once again, it disappointed and I'm upset because I don't want any disappointments, but yeah, so far that is uh, not a good house for me. Alrighty, so it's time to hit up our third house for tonight, which will be Slaughter Cinema 2. I'm excited for this one. Let's go do it. <laughs> So that was such a terrible run through of Slaughter Cinema and it sucks because I love all the Slaughter Cinema stuff. However, how on opening night do you not know how to do a cash change properly without stopping the whole house? I do not, I do not understand. Like you literally did a cash change and had to completely stop the house for a good like five or six minutes. No reason. And let me tell you, hey, how you been? let me tell you, I know they probably didn't have this issue. Like, I know they probably didn't have this issue. I don't know, last night during their, their premium scare night or whatever, but they didn't know how to do a cash change. It seemed like the house wasn't even full. So it's like, 
what what's the deal here you know so i hope i get to do a different run through of the house because i really love slaughter cinema and give it another shot luckily i'm here all weekend so we'll be able to go through more than once so far the only good house tonight has been goblins feast and that was everybody's hate list guys this is wild to see so it's around 7 20 p.m look at how crowded it's not it is not crowded at all whatsoever on opening night of halloween horror nights is that strange to you guys like am i missing something yeah they had like a premium scare night last night like three thousand something people were there so that would be maybe three thousand less here it's just very strange still i literally have walking room but we decided to take a break before going into museum deadly exhibits we're doing our pizza fry you know snack time tradition here you know you got to do it hhn tradition pizza fry down the hatch yeah solid give it a 10 out of 10 10 out of freaking 10. all righty first treat of hhn in the books pizza fries always amazing now let's hit up our fourth house for the night and it's not even eight o'clock yet let's do deadly museum deadly exhibits i seen this one set up that's like that oh my god gimbal yeah yeah he's recording this <laughs> hi mom hi youtube that's very demure oh my god we're in love yeah yeah delete it delete it oh i told josh about the little cakes that you had yesterday <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm probably a little biased to be honest. I actually loved Museum Deadly Exhibit. Like, it actually wowed me a bit. There was only one empty spot. But other than that, I got every single scare in that house. Freaking incredible. I loved it. It's definitely number two for the night. We are now on our way to go through Swamp of the Undead. We're gonna go grab some treats and then do some houses up front. We only have six houses left and it's barely 8.30, so we're doing great tonight. Alrighty, we're headed into Swamp of the Undead. I'm really excited for this one. Also, I'm using a new lens, so let me know what you guys think. It's good in low light. This looks so good. Holy cow. So we're going to try this grilled chicken tenders with red chimichurri. Um, I don't know. I was told to try it, so let's do it. It's gonna be right over here. 
at the Monstros section. This is the chicken gobbler on a stick. Got some chimichurri, you know? Shove that meat in your mouth, Josh. Cut. Let's take a walk through Demon Queens. Let me tell you, it already looks so much better at night than it does during the day. I'm excited. Let's do this. Look at that. It's so cool. Oh, my God. There's so much going on. Oh, <laughs> 
shit. Okay, yeah. Woo. My heart beat a little faster now. Thank you. Oh my god. Duality of fear is very bland. Where is everybody? Interesting. Now oh, there's like nobody here. Where'd they all go? That's it. I think that's it some chainsaw people here and there. Alrighty, this is house number five. We are officially halfway done. This is Monstros. I am super excited to see this house. Not only do I get to see this house here, but I'm going to see Monstros 2 in Hollywood. I have a lot of uh, high hopes for this house. So let's go do it. Let's go have some fun. Monstros, Latin America. So Gloria went from having just a one night ticket to HHN. Now she has all of September. What? What? That. Alrighty. Monstros. Holy crap. Like mind blowing. All right. So we definitely had some dead spots in the house. I can't lie there. But the scares that I got, 100% on point. And that house deserves all the credit it gets. And I cannot wait to see Monstros 2 in literally just two weeks. Oh, that's probably on the top of my list for tonight, most definitely. Alrighty, so we are headed to Nightmare Fuel Nocturnal Circus, which means we're gonna walk through Torture Fair. I'm excited. So as we make our way to Nightmare Fuel, we will be walking through Blumhouse. Kind of excited to see it. Let's do it. I'm not 
not surprised that I'm disappointed with Vinyl Sticker Land over here. <laughs> that was okay, my friend. That was bad. I mean, it was pretty much it. So I, I, you had to like find them. Yes. No, too much fog. I enjoyed it. No, it wasn't even that you had to find them. They were all at the end. I had the a lot of fog. Well, yes, I had that, but like I just couldn't find them. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, like, oh, it could have been... <laughs> what? I don't know. I think they were making out in there. That was weird as hell. They were making out in the phone booth. <laughs> the things you see at HHN. Wild. Nightmare Fuel Nocturnal Circus. It was a really good show. Definitely very different than what they've done in the past, but I enjoyed it. I have a lot more I want to say about it, but we'll wait till we get back to the hotel so I can really just sit down and talk about everything. So we are going to do our final house for the night and that will be Insidious the Further. It'll be our sixth house, fifth house, sixth house. Uh, of the night we'll head back to the hotel talk about everything that we did tonight and we're going to do all again tomorrow so let's go get a let's go get a lot of scared because this house is going to be terrifying all right so I, I can't lie here scariest house of the night for me oh I guess it was kind of a good way to end off the night though but now I have no voice and I think it is time to go to bed because I, I was screaming you, you heard me you were in front of me oh my god I got pretty much every scare if not all the scares that was a wild run through I definitely want to go through it again though that was a really really good house Alrighty, so Halloween Horror Nights 2024, HHN 33 opening night is in the books, and I had such a fantastic time. We didn't get rained out, we didn't get waterlogged at all like normal. Um, the houses were decent, scare zones were hit or miss like normal, and Nightmare Fuel was phenomenal in my opinion. It is very different 
from you know previous years but that's what people wanted and that's what we got i'm loving the event so far it's only been one night this year not in all the houses but the main one slaughter cinema that we did they need to figure out their timing for quickly they can change cast because uh you should not be making guests wait five minutes in one room of the house to cast change and i'm saying that as a former scare actor who was like go 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 and you need to be in your spot and ready to go and keep that house moving i mean when i worked at hollow scream for bush gardens i don't even remember you know stopping people when we were cast changing we'd have people walking through and we were just trying to zigzag through and scare as we moved around that one kind of irritated me a bit there were a lot of holes for opening night which is weird to me because from what i saw and was told by some people thursday night that Pre that premium scare night or whatever was basically full and it was insane. So how are you not prepared for your opening night? Um, scare zones were hit or miss. Torture fair could be great, but it was a disaster last night because it was just full of people. There was nowhere to walk. I mean, you guys saw the good footage because I made sure to cut it and show you the good footage. You guys would have just been crowd watching with me. Like literally, that was it. That's how bad it was. Uh, Blumhouse, terrible. I mean, I didn't suspect anything different, but I couldn't find any of the scare actors. The few that I did were literally towards the end or beginning, wherever you started. I, I got scared by the fog more. So I'm hoping to be able to go back for night two, do another run through of Torture Fair, do another run through Blumhouse, do another run through of Slaughter Cinema, and get those better interactions because I know they could have been better. I, it, they can be. Now, we all know people who have been going to this event for years or even just you know, two years. You can tell it's their budget year this year. I mean, we have no Peacock, really anything. Um, we have the Fanta AI bars. And overall, you can just kind of see where the budget cuts happen. But I still think it's a great event. And I'm enjoying it so far, even with it just being night one. Um, yeah, I mean, really all I have to say because there's not much negative to say, honestly. But I would like to know your guys' thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Will you guys be going to HHN this year at all? Orlando, Cal California? Um, are you guys skipping out? Are you guys waiting to go later in the season? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to chat with you guys. Uh, but with all that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And like always, I'll see y'all in the next spooky journey.